one of the atomic reactors at the Chernobyl atomic power plant near the city of Kiev was damaged. And there is speculation in Moscow that people were injured and may have died. The Soviets may have been fairly quick to acknowledge the accident because evidence in the form of mild nuclear radiation had already reached beyond the Soviet borders to Scandinavia. In the shadowy passages of history, few places evoke as much fear and curiosity as Chernobyl. Once a busy center of activity, now stuck in time, serving as a scary symbol of humanity's biggest mistakes. Visitors come here, exploring its spooky quietness and empty buildings, feeling a mix of fear and interest. Among the lonely ruins are scary secrets that are even scarier than usual stories from the past. People explore this uneasy place, touching old things from the past, feeling both scared and amazed. Join us as we uncover 20 of the scariest things ever found in Chernobyl. Number 20. Mysterious Barn Swallows After the Chernobyl nuclear accident, scientists noticed something amazing about the local bird community. The barn swallows, usually with dark feathers, suddenly showed lighter ones. This was unexpected and caught the scientists' attention. They thought the radiation might have affected the bird's melanin, the substance that gives color to feathers, skin, and eyes. Melanin helps birds protect themselves from harmful sunlight. But in Chernobyl, the barn swallows had less melanin, making their feathers lighter. This happened in areas with more radiation. Scientists wanted to understand how these birds adapted. Radiation exposure can change DNA and pass on those changes. The lighter feathers suggest the bird's DNA changed, affecting melanin production. So, they ended up with lighter feathers. These birds become like living signs, showing how wildlife reacts to the radioactive Chernobyl. Scientists have studied barn swallows in Chernobyl closely. They notice these birds adapting uniquely. Besides changing feather color, they've seen changes in behavior and reproduction. It's not just barn swallows. Other bird species in Chernobyl are also adapting. Some resist DNA damage from radiation, while others change their body functions. One exciting thing about this is its effect on evolution. Over time, birds in Chernobyl might change a lot because of radiation. They could develop new traits to survive in the radioactive area. Number 19. Blackbird of Chernobyl In the months before the tragic events of April 26, 1986, a strange and confusing thing puzzled the people living near the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Residents reported seeing a weird, twisted creature with big wings and deep red eyes. This creature, later called the Black Bird of Chernobyl, scared the area, showing up in bad dreams and even supposedly facing some residents. Then, in the middle of the night, nuclear reactor 4 exploded, causing a fire and nuclear meltdown. The terrible event made over 350,000 people leave their homes. In the middle of the chaos, some survivors said they saw a huge black bird with 20-foot wings flying in the sky. This story might remind you of the famous Mothman sightings in West Virginia, just before the Silver Bridge collapsed in 1968. The creatures in both cases were described similarly, and they both showed up just before disasters happened. Interestingly, after each disaster, both the Blackbird of Chernobyl and the Mothman disappeared completely. These scary creatures seem to predict disasters, appearing in the darkness before something terrible happens. Number 18. Abandoned Amusement Park in the landscape of an abandoned amusement park lies a poignant reminder of the tragic events that unfolded in Chernobyl. Once vibrant with joy and excitement, the park, now called the Pripyat Amusement Park, stands in a state of decay. Its grand opening, originally scheduled for May 1, 1986, to coincide with the May Day celebrations, never came to reality. Just days before the planned opening, on April 26, the Chernobyl disaster struck a few kilometers away. This catastrophic event cast a dark shadow over the park's preparations, abruptly halting the festivities before they could commence. Some speculate that the park was hastily opened in the aftermath of the accident, perhaps as a means of diverting attention from the disaster. Evidence supporting this theory can be seen in a chilling video that depicts the unfinished state of the rides. For example, the commando ride lacked canopies, and the building housing the Ferris wheel remained incomplete. 
The clothing worn by the individuals in the footage suggests that it was filmed during winter, possibly during a test run of the park. Regardless of the exact circumstances, the amusement park, particularly its iconic Ferris wheel, has become a somber symbol of the Chernobyl accident. Number 17. The Red Forest Experiment Scientists were interested in understanding how radiation affects insects, microbes, and fungi that break down dead plant matter. They noticed that trees in the Red Forest, which died shortly after the Chernobyl incident, weren't decaying normally even after about 20 years. Fallon trees remained almost untouched, unlike what you'd expect in any other forest. A team of researchers, led by Timothy Musiao, a biologist at the University of South Carolina, Columbia, decided to experiment. They filled net bags with leaves from various trees in uncontaminated areas and scattered them across different parts of the forest surrounding Chernobyl. Some bags were placed in contaminated areas while others were placed in non-contaminated areas. After a year, they returned to collect the bags and were surprised by the results. Leaves left in the most radiated areas were practically untouched, while those in uncontaminated areas had decomposed and turned into soil thanks to the healthy microbes and fungi present. This discovery revealed that heavily irradiated areas aren't decomposing and regenerating at a normal rate. Furthermore, the abundance of leaf litter on the forest floor poses a significant risk of forest fires. These fires could potentially spread radiation beyond the exclusion zone. Therefore, understanding the impact of radiation on decomposition processes is crucial for managing and mitigating the risks associated with radioactive contamination. Number 16. The USSR Propaganda During the Soviet era, Around 50,000 people lived in Pripyat, a busy city in Ukraine. However, their lives were abruptly disrupted when disaster struck within just 30 hours. Authorities swiftly ordered the evacuation of the entire population to shield them from radiation dangers. Despite the haste in departure, residents left behind their homes and belongings with the hope of returning soon. They were reassured that their absence would be brief leading them to pack only essential items like identity papers and a change of clothes. Little did they know, their beloved city would soon be frozen in time. The evacuation, conducted urgently, left Pripyat deserted. However, contrary to initial assurances, the desolation endured far longer than expected. Pripyat's abandonment and subsequent desolation strikingly resemble a snapshot from the Soviet era. The aftermath of the Chernobyl disaster transformed Pripyat into a ghost town, frozen in time. Buildings remain untouched, frozen as they were left decades ago, offering a glimpse into the past. The Chernobyl exclusion zone, encompassing Pripyat, has become a unique ecosystem. Despite the radiation, wildlife has flourished, reclaiming the abandoned city. Wolves, deer, and even rare species have thrived in this unexpected sanctuary. Pripyat's strange atmosphere has attracted tourists and researchers alike. Guided tours offer visitors the opportunity to explore the abandoned city, witnessing firsthand the remnants of Soviet life. Number 15. Deserted Pripyat Hospital In the spooky world of scary places, deserted hospitals are like rulers of emptiness, making even the busiest places seem cheerful. Imagine this, a lonely hospital left behind in the middle of a zone where radiation could harm you. Its walls used to be bright with paint, but now they're peeling and the beds are all rusty. Everywhere you look, it seems like the building is falling apart because no one cares for it. It's not just a place with empty halls, it's like a frightening painting that feels very unsettling. When you step inside this eerie place, the air feels heavy with something spooky, like something bad is about to happen. Unlike a nice hospital where you feel safe, here you want to run away like every little sound is a warning. Each step you take makes a loud noise in the dark halls, making you feel even more alone. The building itself makes sounds, like it's sad it's being left to decay, making you feel even more scared. What makes this place even scarier is its history. It used to be a busy hospital, but now it's like a museum of old stuff, 
where you can almost hear the stories of the people who used to be here. Some happy, some sad, all lost in time. Number 14. Flourishing Home of Wildlife The region surrounding Chernobyl has seen a significant increase in natural growth since the nuclear accident that happened 35 years ago. This disaster, one of the worst in history, led to the evacuation of 350,000 people, leaving the area to nature's mercy. Ukrainian authorities predict that humans won't be able to live there for another 24,000 years. Despite this, the Chernobyl exclusion zone has turned into an unexpected sanctuary for wildlife. Situated in the northern part of Ukraine, the Chernobyl exclusion zone covers a vast area of 2,000 square kilometers. It has now evolved into one of Europe's largest nature reserves, offering a haven for various species. Among these, the Prusawalski's horses, once on the verge of extinction, are now thriving. From lynxes to deer and numerous other creatures, the area has become a flourishing home for wildlife. One fascinating aspect of this resurgence is the return of wildlife to an area once deemed uninhabitable. Despite the lingering radiation, nature has found a way to adapt and thrive in this environment. It's a testament to the resilience of life and the power of nature to reclaim and rejuvenate even the most damaged ecosystems. However, it also offers hope for the future, demonstrating nature's ability to rebound and thrive even in the face of adversity. Number 13. Dogs of Chernobyl. Recent scientific research conducted by scholars from the University of South Carolina and the National Human Genome Research Institute aim to uncover the mysteries surrounding the remarkable dogs that inhabit the vicinity of the Chernobyl power plant. What makes these dogs unique from their counterparts elsewhere? That's what the scientists aim to discover in their study. The researchers meticulously examined 302 of these wild dogs delving into their genetic composition and behavior. While the findings are still in the early stages, they suggest something remarkable. These dogs may be thriving, despite facing considerable challenges. Consider the aftermath of the devastating Chernobyl nuclear incident, where humans were forced to evacuate, leaving behind their homes and pets. In this chaotic scenario, these dogs were left to fend for themselves, now several generations later, they have managed to establish a foothold in this harsh environment. Unlike many other species in the area, which have struggled to reproduce due to the lingering effects of radiation, these resilient dogs have not only survived, but flourished. It seems as though they have developed a resilience to the radiation that once wreaked havoc in their surroundings. Could it be that these wild dogs possess mechanisms to resist the harmful effects of radiation? potentially even becoming more resistant to diseases like cancer? Number 12. Shadow of a Missing Town Many people avoid areas affected by nuclear disasters, but some people see opportunity, whereas others see danger. A group of brave artists from Germany and Belarus viewed the exclusion zone surrounding the Chernobyl disaster site as a blank canvas for exploration. Despite the danger of radiation, they entered the forbidden territory armed only with spray paint and a daring spirit. Their reasons for this risky adventure remain mysterious. Maybe they thought they could gain special abilities, or perhaps they were driven by a strong desire to leave their mark on a landscape scarred by tragedy. Whatever their reasons, their secret adventure led to the creation of captivating works of art that now decorate the deserted streets of Pripyat and its surroundings. Among the most striking creations are the ghostly shadows painted on the walls of Pripyat's abandoned buildings. These haunting figures depict scenes reminiscent of the city's former inhabitants, frozen in time amidst the chaos of evacuation. Visitors who have explored Pripyat describe these eerie images as both captivating and disturbing, evoking feelings of sadness and awe. Photographs only capture a small part of the strange atmosphere that fills the abandoned city, making one wonder about its true allure. Despite the dangers and difficulties, the brave artists who ventured into the exclusion zone turned a place of tragedy into a canvas of beauty and mystery. Number 11. The Giant Catfish Deep within the heart of Chernobyl, a remarkable community of enormous catfish, the Palor 15, 
thrives amidst the aftermath of a devastating nuclear incident. Originally constructed to regulate the temperature of the Chernobyl nuclear reactors, the cooling ponds have unexpectedly evolved into sanctuaries for underwater life, fostering a diverse ecosystem. Free from human interference and the disruptions caused by fishing activities and limited food supplies, the catfish residing in these ponds have defied expectations, with some individuals growing to lengths exceeding two meters. Once symbols of industrial infrastructure, the cooling ponds have been transformed into safe havens where catfish can achieve unimaginable sizes. The absence of human presence, driven by concerns over radiation, has provided an environment conducive to the flourishing of these massive catfish, devoid of the usual predatory pressures from sharks. Their impressive size serves as a testament to the resilience of life in the face of adversity. Feeding on an abundance of prey such as smaller fish and invertebrates, these catfish have capitalized on the ample resources within the ponds. In stark contrast to natural habitats where human activities often constrain species growth, the abandoned regions of the Chernobyl exclusion zone have allowed nature to reclaim its territory. Here, amidst the desolation, the catfish have been able to attain sizes rarely observed elsewhere. Number 10. Deformed Animal Babies The emergence of unusual and deformed animal offspring, characterized by swollen eyes and abnormal jaw shapes, has piqued the interest and worry of observers. Some speculate that these abnormalities could be linked to the aftermath of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, which occurred in the late 1980s and early 1990s. During this period, farmers reported a surge in deformities among their livestock, possibly due to radiation exposure from the damaged nuclear reactor's protective structure. Approximately 400 animals, including cattle and pigs, were born with severe abnormalities such as facial irregularities, extra body parts, unusual birth sizes, and smaller sizes. Sadly, their lives were short-lived, often lasting only a few hours, underscoring the profound impact of genetic mutations caused by radiation exposure. Moreover, cows exposed to fallout and fed with radioactive feed produced milk with radioactive properties, raising concerns about the long-term effects of the disaster on both the environment and livestock health. While some attribute the appearance of deformed animals solely to the Chernobyl accident, others argue that such anomalies are not exclusive to that event. There are reports of a horse camel hybrid born in Romania in 2014, which bears a striking resemblance to the deformed skull under scrutiny. These instances highlight the ongoing scientific inquiry into the potential causes and consequences of animal deformities, underscoring the need for continued research and vigilance in monitoring environmental and nuclear safety standards. Number 9. Unused Gas Masks Gas masks are scattered throughout the abandoned buildings of Pripyat. In one particular room of a school, the floor is covered with piles of these protective devices left behind by looters who scavenged for valuable materials like silver. The sight of these gas masks is unsettling, showing images of a disastrous landscape that must have felt all too real for the residents of Pripyat, especially the young children who experienced the horror firsthand. What adds to the mystery is the fact that these gas masks were never used despite residents being trained just a week before the Chernobyl disaster on how to use them in case of an emergency. Residents were instructed not to use the masks during the evacuation. The Communist Party leadership feared that using gas masks would inspire panic among the people, so they opted instead to downplay the severity of the situation. This decision, aimed at preserving an appearance of control, ultimately left residents at risk of the invisible threat of radiation. It highlights the official mismanagement and disregard for public safety that characterized the response to the crisis. Despite being equipped with the means to protect themselves, the residents of Pripyat were left defenseless in the face of a catastrophe that would go down in history as the worst nuclear disaster the world had ever seen. Children in Pripyat were taught how to use gas masks, as were adults. This preparation, however, proved futile as the disaster unfolded. Number 8. Tourists in Chernobyl 
The tourism industry in Chernobyl is seeing a big increase in visitors. Around 80,000 people went to the exclusion zone in Ukraine in 2023, according to the government. Tourists are attracted to the area's unique history and strange atmosphere. They explore zones without radiation, using Geiger counters to stay safe. Many shops sell souvenirs like fridge magnets and t-shirts with Chernobyl designs. Some brave people even stay overnight near the nuclear disaster site, paying extra for the experience. However, not everyone is happy about the increase in tourists. Local people and historians worry about the sad memories connected to Chernobyl. It's a reminder of the worst nuclear accident in history. Despite these concerns, the tourism industry keeps growing. It attracts curious travelers from all over the world. Access to the exclusion zone is limited to guided tours. Travelers have to go through checkpoints where radiation levels are checked. Surprisingly, despite worries about radiation, tourists are told that visiting Chernobyl is safer than taking a regular flight. Reports from travelers interviewed by news outlets like Newsweek say that the radiation exposure in Chernobyl is lower than what you'd get from flying. Despite the somber atmosphere that permeates Chernobyl, there is a glimmer of hope and resilience among the local communities. Number 7. Astonishing Chernobyl Frogs In the aftermath of the Chernobyl disaster, scientists worldwide have been captivated by the impact of radiation on the wildlife living in the exclusion zone. While we're familiar with documented cases of insects and animals like the famous Chernobyl elephant's foot fungus, the way frogs in the area have adapted is especially fascinating. One species, the Gila orientalis tree frog native to the Pripyat region, used to blend perfectly into its green surroundings. However, since the nuclear catastrophe, these frogs have undergone a noticeable change in appearance. Once green, they now sport a darker color. This shift is due to their bodies producing more melanin, a natural defense against radiation. Melanin absorbs and neutralizes harmful ion particles, preventing cellular damage. This adaptation showcases nature's incredible ability to adapt to TAUF situations. Despite the lingering radiation, these resilient frogs are thriving in their habitat. Studies by scientists like Pablo Baracco and German Orala have uncovered broader ecological changes within the exclusion zone. These changes range from shifts in biodiversity to the emergence of new ecological niches. Chernobyl has become a unique laboratory for studying the long-term effects of radiation on wildlife. As researchers delve deeper into the mysteries of Chernobyl's ecosystems, they gain valuable insights into the resilience of life in even the most challenging environments. Number six, a bunch of old ladies. Following the Chernobyl disaster, the Soviet government relocated approximately 116,000 individuals from affected areas to apartments outside the exclusion zone. Despite this, some residents of smaller villages opted to remain behind. These individuals had endured the hardships of Joseph Stalin's regime and the Nazi occupation during World War II, making them resilient to unseen dangers. Despite government objections, Many of these brave individuals returned to their homes within a few months or years. They became known as self-settlers, defying official warnings to rebuild their lives within the exclusion zone. Around 1,000 mainly elderly individuals over the age of 48 resettled in the months and years following the disaster. Today, a small fraction of these self-settlers, primarily women, continue to inhabit the area. These grandmothers, despite being warned numerous times about the risks of radiation exposure, persist in cultivating the contaminated soil, growing their food, and raising livestock such as chickens and hogs. Their resilience and stubborn determination are testament to their tireless spirit and refusal to be intimidated by misfortune. Perhaps it is their indomitable will and sheer toughness that enable them to defy the challenges and continue living in a place deemed inhospitable by many. Number 5. Wolves with Curling Tail In the spooky wilderness of the Chernobyl exclusion zone, an interesting phenomenon has caught the attention of scientists and nature lovers. Wolves with curly tails.
these secretive animals living in the zone have started to show mysteriously twisted tales, adding to their mysterious appeal. Though the exact reason for this unique trait remains unknown, researchers think it might be because of a mix of genetic factors and adaptations to the tough environment of the zone. Unlike their counterparts with straight tails, the wolves of Chernobyl have distinct curls in their tails, giving them a charming look. The origins of this strange feature are still being studied, with some ideas suggesting specific gene differences or special genetic traits within the population of the exclusion zone. Besides genetics, the curled tails might also help the wolves survive in the tough habitat of Chernobyl. In the harsh winters of the region, where snow covers the land for much of the year, the curled tails may give the wolves better balance and agility. This natural adaptation could help them move around the uneven and icy terrain, making it easier to hunt in the harsh winter conditions. Alongside their unique physical features, the wolves of Chernobyl are also the focus of ongoing research into their health and behavior. Scientists are studying how radiation exposure from the nuclear disaster affects the wildlife in the exclusion zone, including the wolves, to understand the long-term effects on the ecosystem. Number 4. Chernobyl Exclusion Zone Sign In the vast, untamed landscape of the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, there stands a simple yet important symbol, the Exclusion Zone Sign. This weathered marker, worn down by time, stands at the boundaries of the zone, serving as a crucial warning to anyone who dares to come close. Decorated with the unmistakable radiation symbol, it reminds people of the danger that lies beyond. Surrounding the sign are rusted gates and crumbling walls, signaling the transition from the known to the forbidden. These barriers mark the edge between safety and risk describing the boundary where unseen threats from the nuclear disaster of 1986 still linger. The exclusion zone sign acts as a tangible reminder of the ongoing dangers of radiation exposure. It warns of the potential consequences of entering areas contaminated by radioactive substances where the invisible threat of nuclear disaster is very real. Despite these clear warnings, some individuals disregard the dangers and venture into the forbidden zone. Evidence of human activity, such as art and other signs, can be found within the area despite the inherent risks. While some may choose to ignore the warnings, the exclusion zone sign remains a steadfast symbol of the lasting consequences of nuclear disaster. Number 3. Laughter in the Night in a post titled Laughter in the Night, a user who has now deleted their account shared a strange encounter from a recent trip to Chernobyl. The user, along with a few friends, decided to explore the heart of the exclusion zone, adding a thrill by venturing into the darkness of night after exploring Pripyat during the day. They found themselves near the infamous Ferris wheel, which already instilled fear in those present due to its eerie presence at nighttime. However, what followed was truly unforgettable. While lingering around the Ferris wheel, the user heard faint laughter in the distance, resembling children playing nearby. Everyone fell silent, taken aback by this unexpected sound. One of the friends suggested following the laughter, although there was some reluctance among them. Despite their apprehension, curiosity got the better of them, and they all agreed to pursue the source of the laughter. As they approached, they realized that the laughter was emanating from inside an abandoned school. Suddenly, the laughter ceased as abruptly as it had begun, leaving them shocked and frightened. Overcome with fear, they swiftly fled from the scene. To this day, they remain unable to explain the chilling experience they had that night. Number 2. Reactor Control Room The largest thing humans have ever moved the nuclear power plant itself, might not evoke the same emotional fear as stumbling upon an eerie plastic doll peeking out from a broken window. However, from a logical standpoint, it's undeniably the most terrifying part of the exclusion zone. For years, the only barrier safeguarding the world from the disastrous aftermath of the failed fourth atomic reactor was a colossal structure known as the Big Coffin. This immense edifice, crafted from 14 million cubic feet of concrete 
and over 8,000 tons of metal, stood as a testament to the catastrophic events of April 1986. Workers assigned to erect the original coffin worked in brief shifts lasting mere minutes as prolonged exposure to radiation would have spelled certain death, albeit a slow and agonizing one. Sadly, the initial coffin proved insufficient to contain the radiation, leading to the appearance of mutated farm animals in the years following the disaster. It wasn't until two decades later that engineers devised a more effective solution. The construction of the new coffin was a monumental undertaking, necessitating the coordination of 18 ships and two Pauzons and five trucks to transport its various components from Italy to Chernobyl. Finally completed in November 2016, the new coffin now stands as a towering symbol of resilience and progress. However, its presence has left some visitors disappointed. They had hoped to explore the older, less secure version of the coffin in search of unusual photo opportunities. Number 1. Birds with Extra Toes Following the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, the environment around the power plant went through big changes. Lots of animals had a tough time dealing with the radiation, but some showed amazing strength and found new ways to survive. One interesting thing that happened was that some birds grew extra toes. Scientists who studied the Chernobyl exclusion zone found that certain types of birds like sparrows, swallows, and blackbirds had this strange feature. Instead of the usual three toes in the front and one in the back, these birds might have an extra toe squeezed in with the rest. This might seem weird, but it's not that rare in nature for birds to have extra toes. The reason behind this extra toe is probably because of the radiation from the disaster. But just because they have this change doesn't mean all the birds in the area are genetically messed up. It's quite rare, and not all birds in the same species or group have it. Even though radiation can be bad for animals, some of them in the Chernobyl exclusion zone have shown they can handle it pretty well. Apart from the extra toes, scientists have seen other animals, like birds, adapting in different ways to survive. This shows how tough and adaptable wildlife can be, even in tough situations. Which of these 20 craziest things found in Chernobyl do you find intriguing? Let us know your answer in the comments section.